there in YouTube world. This is uh, Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is a little teaching called Why the Religious Don't See. Jesus was talking in uh, uh, in John and uh, Matthew, uh, Jesus was talking about going away and being lifted up uh, to put things in context and Matthew was writing and uh, our John was writing uh, in John and um, um, he says in John uh, John 12 um, 38 that the word of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled which he spoke Lord who has believed your report and who has the arm of the Lord not been revealed. I've been, who has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe because Isaiah said again, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. So Isaiah spoke about people having hardened hearts uh, that uh, they would be turned against uh, Jesus and they wouldn't uh, believe Jesus uh, when he came and the same is true of today uh, people uh, are blind people have hardened hearts uh, there's whole denominations full of people who don't believe in some of the following things so um, there's uh, whole denominations that don't believe that healing is for today uh, they have their beliefs that God may heal uh, from time to time but there's no one uh, that has a gift of healing and these people will be outspoken against people like Benny Hinn and say that uh, he's doing witchcraft and he's uh, healing, uh, he's doing signs and wonders from the power of the devil. And they have all sorts of uh, uh, blogs and uh, YouTube videos about how false Benny Hinn is and how an agent of Satan he is. They just can't comprehend that healing is a gift that continues, that it was in the New Testament, it was in the time of Jesus, the apostles healed, but they tend to think that uh, since the apostles left, there has been no more healing. Uh, they also believe, uh, the religious also believe there's no such thing as an apostle uh, today, that there wouldn't be a modern day representation of an apostle, and I uh, find that uh, hard to believe because I've encountered a couple of um, apostles in my time and I uh, found them to be very knowledgeable, holy, humble men of God. Uh, the couple of apostles that I spent time with uh, were very humble. Uh, they listened a lot. Uh, they uh, they weren't proud. Uh, one of the apostles listened to six hours worth of my stories on, on a trip that took six hours. I talked for six hours and he just listened and commented on what I said. And uh, he was the most gracious and humble person uh, I'd ever met. It's, it, if you had a look at his Bible, it was underlined and written on, on every page of, of, of it. Uh, he understood nearly every verse in the Bible and what each verse uh, meant and uh, he was the most knowledgeable man when it come to the kingdom of God I've ever met. So uh, there are modern day apostles. Uh, the religious don't think that there's a modern day prophet. Uh, they accept that there's clairvoyance and psychics. They accept that uh, there's people working in darkness and, and, and the kingdom of darkness but they don't accept that there's a modern day prophet an equivalent of a clairvoyant or a psychic they don't believe that God can speak through a person to someone else 
and to have these uh, closed eyes and the hardened heart and they just can't see that there is a modern day prophet they believe that modern day prophets or anyone claiming to be a modern day prophet is deceived and uh, and working in darkness they believe in uh, false prophets they believe that uh, there's such a thing as false prophets but uh, they don't believe in modern day prophets and uh, and uh, Jesus um, says that if they don't accept you neither do they accept me uh, he said elsewhere um, the religious don't believe in prophecy they don't believe that uh, Jesus or God can speak through a person uh, today they feel that that was an old covenant thing and only lasted up until the New Testament apostles they uh, believe that uh, these gifts ceased and uh, and many people like this are cessationalists that believe uh, apostles and prophets and the gifts of the Holy Spirit ceased um, when the last apostle uh, was uh, was on earth when when he died uh, so did the gifts and the gifts of the Spirit and the offices of apostle and prophet um, the modern day religious uh, don't uh, believe in visits to heaven they don't believe the accounts of someone having a vision of heaven and and visiting heaven they don't particularly believe the accounts of people dying and coming back uh, from heaven they don't uh, uh, believe the accounts that a person could go to heaven and testify um, they essentially are saying that uh, you can't be like the Apostle Paul and have a vision of heaven or the Apostle John and have a vision of heaven. Uh, they essentially are saying that that was only possible for people around the Lord's Day and uh, in the Day of the Lord uh, it's not possible for people today. Um, um, they don't uh, definitely don't believe in people talking to saints. Uh, they actually call uh, you talking to Elijah or you talking to Enoch. Um, uh, they they call that necromancy. They they don't understand that Jesus talked to Elijah and Moses on the Mount of uh, Transfiguration and. Uh, when Jesus ascended into heaven, men in white linen appeared to them. It wasn't angels, and they asked uh, the people, uh, where do you think Jesus has gone? He, he'll come back the same way he left. Uh, they don't realize that they were men. They don't realize that uh, people come out of their graves when Jesus was resurrected, that a whole lot of people of the Old Testament appeared in Jerusalem, uh, like it's recorded in Matthew. Uh, they don't accept that you can actually have a conversation with a saint from heaven. Uh, many of them don't even believe people are alive in heaven, where Jesus said he's not the God of the dead, but he's the God of the living. Um, uh, many religious don't believe in translation by faith um, Michael Van Vlyman has got a book called Translation by Faith and uh, he's, uh, he's travelled in his body to different countries about 15 times uh, it's covered uh, in the Bible scripturally when Philip translated but um, different uh, prophets in the Bible also translated by faith um, and uh, and so it's got biblical foundation and uh, so they don't believe that someone could translate even though Michael has done it 15 times and gone in his physical body to another location and come back um, uh, they don't believe it's possible um, the religious don't believe that God can talk to you they will typically say that God talks to you through the Word of God, uh, they don't believe that uh, God can actually talk to you, that you can have a conversation with God. Uh, they believe like the view 
uh, said recently that uh, P- Pence was mentally ill for having a conversation with God and for God talking back. Uh, they believe that that's a, a form of mental illness uh, to be able to hear from God. And uh, so there's many things. Um, there's many reasons why the religious don't see. Uh, there's many things that they don't see. Um, it, once again, it says in um, John 12:46. He's blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so I could heal them. Uh, so uh, that their hearts and their eyes have been blinded. Uh, their hearts have been hardened by the Lord and their eyes have been blinded uh, by the Lord. Uh, and that's the reason why they can't see. Uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed my uh, video. I hope that uh, you can comment down below on YouTube and uh, let me know what you think. God bless.